There's something fascinating about the art of fast bowling. The effort, the pace, the batsman hopping around the crease. It's pure theatre. Australian cricket is enriched with a long list of fast bowlers throughout their history, with the likes of Thompson, Lee, Tate, Johnson, to name but a few in the long line of genuine quicks that have rattled the batsmen over the years. Here we'll be analysing another promising quick from Australia, Lance Morris, and review the key attributes that makes him an exciting prospect that is sure to have fans tuning in. Lance Morris has a powerful and strong run-up. He keeps his arms close to the body and he keeps his strides smooth moving in a straight direction. All of this keeps his alignment moving towards the target which allows him to build momentum as he approaches the crease for the jump and gather. As Morris passes the umpire, he maintains the momentum and straight alignment towards the crease. He launches off the left foot and keeps the momentum working towards the target. In his jump, the bowling arm and front arm are close and compact to the body. As he lands, on his right foot, the bowling arm remains close to the body and it is aligned with the back leg. This means as he comes through his action, the arm will come through in a straight line. This is the shortest path for the ball to be released and uses the momentum generated from the run-up and gather to release the ball at optimum speed. If the release point is angled away from his body alignment, it will result in less pace and even less control. The front bowling arm is straight and then bends as he pulls down perfectly close into the ribs as he braces onto his front leg. Morris has a strong brace from the front leg, which maximizes his ability to bowl fast. Combined with his strong run-up and compact gather and jump, where he maintains a straight line towards the target, the brace allows him to use that momentum to generate a snap through his action as his bowling arm comes through. The alignment and brace enables him to generate torque through his action, which results in his high pace. As you can see, as he braces the front leg and comes through with his bowling arm, both the bowling arm and front leg are aligned towards the target. The position Morris gets into when he braces is similar to a javelin athlete as they're about to throw the javelin. Morris has a predominantly chest on action. From the limited footage I could see, he doesn't swing the ball much and looks to hit the pitch hard to extract movement and use his pace as the main weapon in his armory. He uses his pace to soften up the batsman with short deliveries and follows up with the full one. Lance Morris's role in the pace attack is an enforcer, using his sharp pace in short spells to unsettle the batsman. The bowling plans for him are to target the batsman with short balls at the body and outside off stump. After pushing the batsman back, he aims the full one straight at the stumps, looking for the LBW or bold. His role is reminiscent of Mitchell Johnson's role in the Ashes, where Michael Clark utilised him in short, sharp spells to target the England batters with short balls. Lance Morris's inclusion in the test squad against Pakistan is a smart selection as it shows the Australian selectors have identified the need for a bowler with express pace to back up Mitchell Stark heading into the Ashes in 2025. On the flatter wickers of Australia and bigger outfields, the use of Morris against the baseball style of cricket is for sure going to lead to fireworks. 